data analytics were used to enhance our situational awareness of dengue and providing early warnings of outbreak. EHI has worked with NUS to develop a dengue predictive model that provides forecast of the dengue case trend and incidence up to three months ahead. So the analysis and modeling we did helps to provide early warning of outbreak and hence facilitate public health response. For instance, the dengue forecast could be used to guide the planning of public health intervention and educational campaign. So in terms of vector population, risk communications can be issued to alert public and urge vigilance in preventing mosquito breeding. Mosquito population is driven by many factors including human behaviour and activities on the ground. With NEA networks of rabbitry deployed across the island, we are able to identify areas with high mosquito population. So now the public can go onto NEA website to check if their areas have high mosquito population. So through my job, I'm able to meet and work with great people, both local and international research experts. I gain not new knowledge and learn new analytical skills every now and then. At the end of the day, it feels great to witness how our research has been translated to operational use. So one of the biggest challenges would be the communicating of our work and research. Since not everyone is of the same background, we have to avoid terms that are too technical. So we usually create charts and maps to visualize the data so that they can be easily understood. People don't know there's a research institute within NEA, so very often my job is mistaken as the inspection officer. I do not go around Singapore checking for mosquito breeding, but instead I crunch mosquito data. I put together data collected by our inspection officer, analyze them and generate insights to help support decision making. So we are the back-end people that you don't see.